Hello, this is a quick video on uh, how to create a drop shadow in the GIMP. Uh, in my class right now, we're creating signature graphics and we're utilizing a series of tools within the GIMP. This is just a quick tip on how to create a drop shadow. This is optional, but it will make your project look a lot nicer. Um, what you can do is you can go to your Paths tool dialog, okay, and you can right click on your name and you can choose Path to Selection because we can always take a path and make it a selection and you've already created a path from your text so it's going to go through and it's going to create a selection from that path we created earlier. Um, in the GIMP it will create drop shadows based on the selected area. Okay, So right now we've got a selection area and we want to create a drop shadow based on that. So I'm going to go to, um, first of all I'll go to my layers and I'm going to create a new layer on top to work with, always a good idea, with a transparent background. So I've got a new layer on top. And I'm going to go to filters I'm going to go to Light and Shadow, and I'm going to choose Drop Shadow. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll increase the offset just a little bit, maybe 10 and 10. It's up to you, whatever you, whatever you think works. And I'll click OK. And it's going to go through, and if I click Select All now, you can see that the signature graphic now has a drop shadow underneath it, giving it more of a 3D effect. So if you'd like to add a drop shadow to your signature, uh, it tends to make a bit of a difference. Uh, it tends to look kind of nice. So uh, there's a quick tip on how to create drop shadows in the GIMP.